got wit. It worked. Vibe coding lets anyone build personal software. This wasn't possible just one year ago. These apps fit your needs perfectly and can be built in just hours. But which is the best tool for this? To find out, we'll build the same app in two of the most popular AI platforms, Lovable and V0. We'll share all the prompts and workflows so you can do it too. So, Sandra, what are we building today? Then I want a simple tool where I type a keyword, pick a competitor, and instantly see where they rank on Google, um, plus if they are running ads for that keyword. There are tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush, but the problem with them is they're expensive, most start at $50 to $100, and can be customized for specific use case. Let's start. This is the first time I built something on V0, but I've used a lot of the vibe coding tools to build other things, especially in Cursor. I've built an app before with Lovable and it was about um, competitor ads from LinkedIn, from Meta and Google as well. So we're going to use the same prompt for the product, but after that, each of us will continue to prompt on their own. Okay, so I got the prompt to build the app and then the design prompt that Sandra generated. When it comes to design itself, I usually find um, designs, which I really like, I screenshot them, I send them to ChatGPT and I asked for the design details and a perfect prompt that I can send to Lovable. Well, I have gotten a front end at least with placeholder for a keyword and a competitor. V0 is here. It looks the same as yours. <laughs> so the design prompt was really good. Well, my checkbox is more fancy. It's like a round. Now I have to connect super based to lovable. Bear in mind, as I said, I'm not a developer. Wait, why did you give me results? What are these results? <laughs> I didn't connect anything. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I'm testing mine as well, or I'm searching for support tools and HubSpot, Intercom. There are even Google ads. It's not connected yet. So we need to scrape the Google results somehow. We asked ChatGPT and it came up with Appify. It looks actually pretty cool. So we're just gonna use that as the tool for scraping, but you could probably use a lovable browser agent or some other features to do the same thing. I'm gonna go with this because it's free to sign up and it looks pretty straightforward. I told it the prototype looks great. I'm ready to connect it to Appify now. And then it says, put your Appify API key. So it supposedly connected to Appify but I get an error if I try to check rankings, as you predicted. I've got an error myself. <laughs> Let me check what's happening. When you get an error in Lovable, you usually press a simple button that says try to fix it. Yeah, same in V0. Okay, so I did a fix. Let's see if this worked. Not this time. This is quite hard for me to not look at what's wrong and just press fix it. <laughs> the Vercel UI screwed me over so it asked me for this api key by mistake i pasted the design prompt instead <laughs> and now if i try to delete it uh it goes outside of the screen so i cannot find the delete button okay i'm reporting this to guillermo right i managed to zoom out and delete the api key and now i'm going to add it again and put the correct value not the design prompt i'm gonna copy this error that I got from Lovable and I'll send it to ChatGPT. And now let's see if it works. It does not work. So I got an error from Appify, I think, saying that the country code is not valid. But why do I need a country code? Oh yeah, because Google results are different. I'm going to add that feature, huh? I'm just stuck. I don't know what to do now. For me, as a non-developer, when there is a certain issue, like I have to, first of all, ask ChatGPT, what does this even mean in order to like get to the solution? All right, I did the country selector. So I can do USA. Oh, that's pre-selected. Very cool. And then I press search. Very cool. So. Um, uh, V0 is using Vercel to also do something similar is doing what they call server actions. So it's also, it's, it's actually not required to connect to Superbase 
30 minutes are up. Let's see where we are. Sandra, you go first. Uh, so 30 minutes after we have working interface, um, we can uh, write a keyword here like support tools and intercom as a competitor and we can check rankings, but at the moment we have not connected yet. Um, so we don't have an actual search results, but we have a pretty nice working interface. So right now in the UI, I can search for a keyword. I can select the country or search for a country. I'll put United States and then I can put a competitor as well. And then if I press check rankings, it does something but it gets stuck at the last step and froze me back on the first screen for some reason. Um, I saw a toast, maybe it just doesn't know how to show the results or something like that. So I'm going to ask it to fix it, but see you all in 30 minutes. I need to make sure that my API endpoint is connected to my Appify. It's probably not getting any results. The, looking at the code, the issue seems to be with the API endpoint. Get the search results working properly. Please make sure that Appify API token is correctly set in your Superbase secrets. Oh, it's not there. Okay, that's the problem. Right? Add new secrets. So we need to place this Appify token and then the value is what we have copied from here. All right, so I told V0 there is a bug. The first time I search, I see a toast, but then I get back to the search screen, investigate the root cause of the bug and make a fix. Let's see what it does. All right, so it said that it fixed it. Let me try it again. I gave up on fixing my bug and just asked it to show the search results and the search at, on the same page. <laughs> Maybe that will fix it. Uh, but now I get a different type of error. So I'll just ask V0 to fix it. Imagine how I feel and I have no idea what's fixing it, what's happening. So attempt number 99 of fixing this bug. I think it maybe worked this time. So let me try a different search. Let me try to search for, I'm going to search for AI image generation and the competitors be mid journey. <laughs> Why does it work? It's been 52 minutes and it did it. So what, what am I supposed to do now? At the moment, everything is connected. There is no any errors, but it's still not showing me any results. Thought about adding more features, which is to show <laughs> more than 10 results. For me, it keeps failing. It's just not working. The API integration isn't running correctly. I've copy and paste the new key still not working so i'm not sure where the problem is you can't even see what is being fixed and then the troubling is that i don't even know what should i do now <laughs> like do i need to go to superbase and fix it or i need to tell to lovable to try to fix it i think maybe that's the problem is that the messaging of lovable is Anyone can build anything, but then if you want to have that message, you cannot give this error, right? Because yes. this one is super yeah. technical. I think the conclusion is that Vercel has a few extra features that are built in. And because of that, it can solve the errors. The problem is not building the thing. The problem is when an error happens, is it smart enough to fix it? And Vercel and V0 seems to be better at that because everything's integrated right now. Sometimes the platform makes all the difference. The UI and the prompt were identical, but lovable edge function, the deployment and secret flows added extra friction for me. Um, I just couldn't figure out why it's not working. But V0 handled this really, really nicely. They have all the Vercel features built in, so they can do a lot of the code without integrating with a third party, such as Superbase. What we see in Lovable is that going back and forth with Superbase errors is very annoying because it cannot directly make changes to it. So then you have to go and put your debugging hat and figure out what exactly goes wrong without being able to change the thing that's wrong. And V0 worked a lot better because it had the complete overview of the system and it could make the necessary changes and fix the bug. So there you go. If you want to vibe code something, definitely recommend going for V0 first because it seems to be a lot better at fixing issues. I think it's time for me to subscribe to V0. Um, thanks so much for watching. 
If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, I need water. Do you have expensive Finnish water? Yes, of course, it's Finnish water, but it's like 90 cents. <laughs> it's sparkling. <laughs> oh, I also have sparkling. Look. I love sparkling water. Yeah. Me too. Cheers.